words. So here we are trying to uh, communicate over modbus using two node MCUs. So you can see two setups here. So this is the first node MCU which is connected to a RS485 to PTL converter. Similarly, I have the same setup replicated here with a node MCU and then RS485 to PTL converter. So here this board, the board on the right basically acts as the mode bus server. Uh, so you can see a trim port is connected to it. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be updating the holding registers with the value of this trim port and that data will be kind of told by the client which is basically the board on the left. So you can see we have the USB to sorry <coughs> mode bus to RS485 to detail converter. So this node MCU will basically act as a mode bus client and it will fold the data which is written onto this uh, holding registers which contains the value of the trim port. Accordingly, we will adjust the brightness of the LED that is connected here. So here basically I will kind of show the demo first, then we will go on to explanation of the ports. So if I adjust the value of the control the port, you can see the brightness of the LED is increasing and similarly you can see the values on the terminal also. So the uh, form 8 is basically the uh, form serial port for the client and the COM6 is basically the serial port for the serial communication or serial prints for the server, mode bus server. Again I am just kind of change it back. So this is the basically the connection diagram for the communication between two node MCUs over Modbus. So the figure or the connection diagram on the left basically is the Modbus server. So wherein we have a trim port which is connected to the A0 pin of node MCU and we have the Modbus RS485 to TTL converters connected to the uh, node MCUs and the details of the connection or the pin connections will be given in the description. Similarly, we have another uh, setup wherein we have a node MCU which has a RS485 to detail converter and an LED connected to it. So the working that we have shown is basically the data from this trim port is written onto a holding register in the node MCU server side and the client, Modbus client will basically pull the data from the server and based on that value it gets communicated over the mode bus the brightness of this LED is controlled moving over to the software part for this particular setup we will be using the mode bus ESP8266 library uh, available in the library manager so this gives you a uh, extensive library or setup or api for implementing the communication so um, you can basically go and check this uh, setup and also you can see there are proper documentation given in for this so we'll be we are basically working on modbus rtu so if you go on to this modbus rtu there are few examples written and how to basically use for Modbus RTU master all those things are given so please do go and check that out once you have properly installed the library using the library manager in Arduino uh, you basically need to kind of have or a software serial because the RS485 to TTL converter communicates with the microcontroller node MCU using serial port so we need to have one serial port for debug prints and another for communicating with the uh, RS485 to detail adapter. So here we have defined a software serial object S for uh, connecting with the RS485 to detail converter and just like our normal serial we kind of create or use the begin method on to that and I have currently set the speed as 9600 bits per second then 
we need to mention that okay there is a redi pin which we kind of short circuit or uh, and connect to one digital pin of your microcontroller so we have to kind of specify which pin to which pin it is connected so in the circuit diagram that i have shown i have connected to d0 and in the loop basically what we are do doing is we are kind of reading the analog value that is connected or the potential meet potential meter import value that is connected to a0 and storing it in a adc val variable and i am writing to that particular register this loop is basically essential to kind of make sure the transaction any transaction that is kind of going on in the mode bus is complete or not so basically pretty much what this server code does is it takes the idc value from the trim port and stores in the uh, register h register so the argument that we have used for passed on to this right h register is basically the slave id for the mode bus second is the register id for the mode bus uh, i mean the holding register so what we are doing is this slave id for the device is 1 and 10 is the register address these two is not fixed this is something that i have kind of given randomly for my particular setup so we need to have a clear understanding on these particular two values because from the client side we need to uh, poll uh, using these two parameters now moving over to the client side code here also we will be basically importing the same library itself uh, and we kind of create a or create a variable for a pin which is connected to your led and in my setup it is d8 similarly we here also we have to create a software serial and we have to we have defined two variables which is basically uh, kind of tells you okay what is the register value for from which you want to read and the slave id of the mode bus device and similarly once you come on to the void loop you can see what you are trying to do is you are reading the <laughs> x register value and the register value is basically 10 that's what we have defined and the value that you are getting will be in a range from say 0 to 1023 it's a 10-bit resolution and the pwm that we want to give out is ranging from can range from 0 to 255 it's an 8-bit so we are using the map function to kind of limit or map it from 0 to 1 or 9 to 1 0 2 3 to 0 to 255 and that value we are kind of using to control the brightness of it similarly this mb.task will help you to kind of complete any transaction that is going on to the mode bus these codes will be uploaded in github and the link will be given in the uh, description of the video